Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am here with a huge fabric unboxing. My biggest yet with this current supplier. I have done bigger hauls at Marden's and it took me hours. It was awful. One time I spent four hours in Marden's and that was just in the store. That doesn't even count the time it took for me to bring all the stuff in the house and try to find room for it. So this is why I like being able to order from a wholesaler. All right, I am going to um, show you that before I do. Yes, shorter hair and SSDD, same shirt, different day. I wore this yesterday, don't judge me. I also want to mention that the video last night, what was it? Oh my God, how quickly I forget. That was quite the task. Not the video, but it took me all day and all night. Well, not all night, but more night than I wanted. I had to work through Survivor. <laughs> to try to orchestrate having the video up plus the two penny auctions that went with that video, plus the quilt kits, because I had to get those all ready. It was my pet quilt, which can also be for a lap. And I think that quilt is even big, bigger than it needs to be for many pets. Little dogs, cats don't need that big. So I might start trying to knock out some smaller, like, pet mats or something like that. Uh, just to put up for penny auctions because that might be fun. It can give me a video, at least a couple of them, and then a uh, uh, penny auction. Because not everybody wants to win fabric. Not everybody sews. Um, not everybody just wants to hoard that and look at it constantly like I do. So I think some pet beds, pet mats, pet quilts, maybe not beds, but mats, quilts, that kind of thing. That might be okay. So go check out that video, the auctions, the quilt kits, and I also... Is my sister here already? Oh my god, hang on. That was not my sister. It was my neighbor. However, my sister is on her way, and I need to get this done before she gets here. So let's just get started. Oh yeah, I was telling you though, because I just had to edit the beginning, because I was like, what was I doing for a video today? No, I think I know, because I have to step over this gigantic box, which is very close to my chair. I wanted to mention that I also have new quilt kits for the strip quilt that I did earlier. Obviously, it's not the same fabric as that quilt top, but it's flannels, and I put together a nice um, assortment, and all the strips are cut, and if you're interested in that, go check out the links down below. Uh, all right, let's just get started. Uh, oh, trying to pull that a little closer to me. I actually lifted the box and didn't quite make it in the house. I was like, okay, this is very heavy, and I just dropped it, and then I had to push it all along the floor to get to here. The first thing I see is a new print on the top and a print I've had before. And it's a print that I like, so I'm okay with that. Here's the print I had before. I believe I got one and a half yard cuts. Brown polka dots. Love brown. I really, really do. And I did ask again for small, all over prints. I am going to start shopping at Marden's also to be able to pick the bigger things that I like and to be able to get funky stuff. So small from this guy is good because it's going to give me a lot of fabric to match up with stuff that I buy at Marden's. So far, I only see one repeat, but we're just starting. Oh, I love the way these are folded. Ouch! They're not rolled. Look, nice stacks of fabric. Love this. I want very much to do a quilt, and I've thought of this repeatedly. Uh, it would probably need to be uh, applique or something to make it look like a stone path, you know, with odd shapes like that, but big, not little tiny ones. I will figure it out. Oh, I've had this one before. I called it Odd Dots or Odd Spots. I can't remember. Love. See, I even like this together with this. I don't always trust my taste. 
wonder how long this is going to take us. Hi. Oh, look at these nice little flowers. I like that. My arm is already tired. And yes, my haircut. Oh my God, I have to thin it some more. I did this so quick. Two days ago, I got out of the shower and I just went chop, chop, chop. And it was like Buster Brown. And uh, today, I started layering it, thinning it out a little bit. Still quite Buster Brown. Got to thin out these bangs. Oh, it sucks to have thick hair. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Can you see the mottled color in there? That even goes good with this. I am quite happy so far. Quite. With a capital fucking Q. Good. Oh, that even goes better with this than that other one. Look at that. Oh, I see some nice groupings happening. So far, I think this is the best batch I ever got. Love. I've had. I've had. When I get small prints, I don't mind repeats because, like I said, they can always go into a different grouping. They're always good. It's better than getting, like, a large print that I'm, like, really not in love with and that nobody else is either. Like, maybe, you know, I don't know, just something big and something really unusual like tractors, you know. <laughs> you know, I do tell him, no novelties like that that are so specific. You know, I don't want yards of John Deere tractors um or college symbols that you know that don't really apply to too many people and not overly religious you know i say christmas but more like winter that kind of thing but i do do christmas because you know there's a lot of people who do christmas so i'm so excited because i'm having another flash sale this weekend a smaller one and i'm going to have some new stuff to offer my patrons and members, YouTube members, if you're ever interested in that, the links are always down below too. I do get a lot of people because on YouTube, they call it members, YouTube members. A lot of people think that just means a subscriber. Somebody will contact me and say, I subscribed. Where's the flash sale? Where's the frenzy? It's like, no, it's a membership. It's different. It's a paid fee, monthly pledge. And that's working out for me. Now, these two look very much alike. They're alike, but just a little bit different shade of green. I like that. My supplier has said, uh, you know, sometimes you'll get the same prints, but different colors. I'm like, I like that. I do groupings of that. Oh, my God. There's hardly a dent in this box. I don't know how to lift these up without taking them all apart. There we go. Like it. All right. This is... This is super, super good, this lot. I'm very happy. I'm not always happy with the fabric because when I bring it to the table and start looking, you know, sometimes I get stuff that it's like... Uh, uh. My patrons and members know how much I have been struggling because it's very hard to order and you know get the convenience is what I like but to order and not be able to pick the fabric out myself and they don't always cut to the exact size I want I get shorted but I had a nice long email chat with him and when I say nice it was like it wasn't nice <laughs> on my end no I wasn't mean to him but I, I, I did a lot of crying after the last lot because I was very disappointed in many, many ways. And I think that he really knows that now. Okay, let's just talk about this for a second. That is awesome. Awesome! And it goes good with this brown, too. Look at that. Oh, so happy. All right, more. Ah! Oh. oh, that's right. I forgot that I ordered batiks, too. Let me move this stack without knocking all kinds of things off my table. Like my tape dispenser. Like my calculator. Because I still use a calculator. Phones are not meant to do adding and subtracting. What was I saying? No clue. No clue at all. I am pretty much clueless. I do see some repeats here. And that's okay. Oh, I like that. This could be a repeat or similar to...
to a repeat. Oh, I like this. This makes me think of bricks, and I want to do a brick quilt, but I want it to look like actual bricks. So I need to go to Marden's for that and see if I can find uh, a brick color fabric that... Um, maybe has two or three different shades either in that one bolt or like a batik or um you know that just has different colors and i think that would be like so awesome i could even make like a couple of the bricks like chipped by maybe snowballing a corner or something oh i know what i was saying i asked for batiks because i really almost have none so i will be doing some more um uh, batik packs for the strip quilt no for the batik quilt that I made not too long ago fat 16 that's what it was if I can maybe I'll offer that to my patrons and members this weekend and then put that on eBay after if I can manage to get that done it's a lot of time to cut fat 16 confetti that's what i'm going to call this one let me get this out of the way Ugh! okay i think we're down to batiks oh we have some more not batiks the batiks for sure i'm getting repeats probably every one i get today i will have gotten multiple times but that's because you know he's limited on those so we have some more regular cotton love all of these so much I don't think there's one that I even kind of maybe a tiny bit don't like so happy I needed happiness out of this box I really did I've been worried sick about not being happy with it had this and I had this Okay, nope, still more under the batiks. So I didn't get, you know, a whole lot of batiks, but I certainly got enough. I think I said, you know, at least 10. I, I didn't want it if he couldn't give me at least 10 different prints. And I think I said maybe up to 20. I should have said more. I didn't know I was going to get 150 yards. See, the reason this happened is because the last time I ordered flannels, and that required a bigger box because it's thick. And he realized that it was a little bit cheaper for the shipping, even though it was priority still to ship that box to me in one big box, then the three separate uh, priority medium boxes, which I kind of thought. So uh, I was happy about that. So he even said, you know, gee, this worked out better for you. Obviously, if I can pay less for shipping, that keeps my price per yard down. And anyway, so I said, if you want to do a big box again, you can. And I said, pick a box and just fill it. I, you know, I don't want to be paying a lot of shipping and, you know, have space in that box. So he was able to do 150 yards and the shipping was less than when I do 108 yards in those three boxes. So I was mega haps about that. Mega haps. And then I only have one box to open instead of those priority ones that are obviously cemented closed <laughs> they're very hard to open some repeats here oh I like this I like the color I don't know if it's gonna ring true it's like a rosy dusty rose color I guess I don't know I don't know names of colors I just make things up as I go oh I had this one sold out of this print I had scrappy pre-cuts Gee, that means I could just do that again and use the same images that I have. Huh? Thinking, thinking cap is on. But I do want you to go check out my stuff on eBay. Always go check the links below. Okay, that officially is it for regular cottons. Now we're doing a batiks. Let me um, move that box and let me uh, move this stack. As for the batiks, I told him that I like the ones that have the visible wax resist lines or dots or whatever. That's what this is. When they dye it, first they put, well, they may dye it first to get this background color, and then they put wax on the fabric, and then they dye it again. And then when the wax is removed, 
uh, it, you know, it does patterns like this. Some batiks are, are not so much like that, and I like the ones with the wax resist showing. So that kind of guarantees that I'll have things that go together well. Oh my god, I love these. I love them so much. Very happy. I wish I could get more yellow batik. I mean, I could get anything I want if I want to pay up the ass. It's even hard to get a good price on batiks through wholesalers. And a lot of wholesalers, you can't buy just a yard or a yard and a half of something. You need to buy the entire bolt. So I'm very happy that I can do it this way. I just hope that I can continue to be happy with it because I want to be able to shop like this. And use Marden's too. I love this one. We get this one often and I just love it. Hi. Pink. I like it when I get pink. Oh, I'm so happy to see some of my favorites returning. I have many favorites. We're almost done. We are there. One more. <sighs> All right, you guys. That is it. I have got to hang up now because my sister is coming. And uh, she's going to have lunch with my mother. So I'm going to be making my mother's lunch. She's actually bringing her own. She's going to grab something when she's out to eat. Uh, I would feed her too, but my mother said that that's what she's doing. So they're going to chat. I have work to do today. I have to take the pictures of the penny auctions that will be going up tomorrow night. I also have to cut some stuff for the flash sale that starts tomorrow. And what's the other thing? I have other things. I have to make a tunic. That will go to the batch that starts in four days, I think. I don't know. I don't want to stress out over the fact that I skipped a time where I had a tunic to offer. I've been doing really good for a long time, and I wasn't feeling well, and I had a major fabric frenzy and sold a shitload of stuff. I mean, it was just very busy, very awesome, and... Um, I'm going to forgive myself for not having a tunic up right now. But but I'm going to continue making them. I have to. I have boxes filled with India tapestries and sarongs. So I can't give up on that right now. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back with more soon. Do go check out my links. Bye.